Hello everyone, this is Satvik and this video I'll be showing you some tricks and tips that you can follow in order to find out the exploits for any vulnerable software or stuff when, when you are doing CTFs or some sort of practical exams. So in some exams or in the CTFs which are related to the penetration testing, so the phase looks like this, like you do scanning and you find some uh, some you know some information via scanning and enumeration and then you go and search for the exploits so this video will help you in order to how you can do that so i'll be telling you all the ways like how you can use metasploit as well to find out the exploits and in some cases you may not require metasploit so i'll be showing you them as well so you can we'll check that out so the first one and the best one is a metasploit but if you take some exams like uh, oscp and sort of stuff uh, they doesn't have this metasploit option like uh, it is only limited to use so but uh, if you are fine with using metasploit you can just uh, launch this msf console and also you can use some google docs that i'm going to showcase in this video and uh, you can just go and do that and also the one we will be trying to uh, find the exploits for is like smb 3.0.2.0 so let's see uh, uh, which is useful for us so basically it takes like uh, a minute or so in order to launch the msf console so you can simply search so the command is search and you can simply search for like smb 0.20 okay so no result so it is smbd no so uh, maybe this is not working like this then also like sometimes it may show up like for example if you take something like uh, uh, vsftpd 2.3.4 for example you can find sometimes but sometimes if it doesn't find it there comes this google dorking so i hope you guys all know that rapid7 owns metasploit so you can simply go for to google okay and uh, let me uh, maximize this so in the google you can simply search for smb 3.0.20 uh, exploit okay so now let me uh, make this screen a bit you can see now you can see few uh, resources from rapid7 or else you can simply uh, add a dark like site rapid7 like if you specifically want to use a metasploit based or like msf console based exploit okay so this is it you can do something like this and you can see now we can get all the uh, relevant stuff here so the first one you can open this thing okay and uh, so this is possibly the exploit that you can use in order to exploit this smb 0 uh, 3.0.20 okay sometimes it may show up while you do the search but sometimes like smb is like very big uh, you know like it consists of major amount of like modules whether it can be auxiliary exploit or uh, or post module so there are several modules related to smb like mostly 40 to 50 percent i guess so you should be careful while searching for them like it doesn't mean if it doesn't show up here that doesn't mean it is not available so just also do a google talk so once i wasted a uh, lot of time during my you know like a starting phase uh, where i was unable to find the exploit for this smb uh, 3.0.20 and here you can see um, you can see the description and the payload so you can use this payload like you can uh, get the exploit done so this is one of the coolest way to do okay so metasploit if you guys are comfortable using metasploit then this is the way so you can use a rapid 7 okay website uh, by using google dorking or you can you simply do a google ser like search in the msf console and you'll find the stuff so that is one thing so then it's basically like you can use the exploit as it is and it is fine so the next one is the search exploit it is by default installed in uh, you know uh, in your kali so no need to worry so search exploit and i can search so i think it should give samba i guess the name should be samba let's try this now so you need to also try with different uh, you know uh, stuff so you can see here so now what you can do is like this is the location so just copy this location like if you feel this exploit is useful okay or you can simply search for that in somewhere like that so you have some options in the search exploit okay hyphen hyphen help so i think there is an option to mirror so mirror in the sense like you just copy it here so for example uh, currently i'm in a root directory so search exploit 
hyphen m mirror and i'm just going to paste the location and you can see if i do an ls you can see that particular exploit where it is there it is copied here so like uh, you don't always need to you know like uh, again search on google and you can you need to find it out okay so search exploit is one good thing like it also consists of uh, the results from the exploit db as well i'll show you that as well so when we search for uh, smb 3.0.20 exploit so you can see there is some results from this exploit database so this is also called as exploit db so let me open this uh, even exploit db is also a location where you can find the exploits for several payloads uh, but this is based on metasploit by looking at the module itself we can say it is from the metasploit but this is the same payload you can see here uh, you can see the id emb id as well 1320 and also uh, sorry and also the id here is also one three one six three two zero something yeah one six three two zero rb so rb in sense like ruby file so sometimes you may uh you know like uh you may you might be required to change few stuff within this particular uh, exploit so for example there may be some exploit like uh python uh let's say uh, eternal blue I'm not talking about metasploit because in metasploit you can you don't need to make any changes to the exploit but sometimes uh, if you're dealing with some other payloads third party payloads from exploit db or somewhere else you may need to do some sort of reverse engineering for example let's give this exploit db as a term and uh, yeah this is one thing eternal blue it is related to eternal blue so sometimes uh, they may ask you to change you can see there may be some uh, quotes within what it needs to be done and you need to just follow them and also that doesn't need that doesn't mean you need to be some sort of like a professional in that language like i don't know complete ruby language but uh, i previously worked with ruby exploits okay so it's simple like uh, just go through them okay like uh, most of the time you may be asked to change the uh, ips the target ips and also the target ports and also few stuff there here and there so you, can, you need to just focus on the comments okay so focus on the comments and uh, just analyze the code quickly so this code may not be that uh, useful i guess maybe this code also rick asks you command and arguments i guess so some tools some exploits ask you command line arguments so in those cases as i told you you can simply run like hyphen hyphen help so search exploit is not an exploit here this is just a tool in order to find the exploits but hyphen hyphen help is an option that you can find with every uh, uh, like python or python application or like any application which requires command line arguments so that is one thing you guys can do okay so don't uh, blindly download those exploit and just run it so just review that payload once sometimes they, uh, like most of the time you'll find it easily only just review them okay and that is one thing like you can find the exploits from the exploit db as well like i'm preparing currently for the oscp and uh, uh, this oscp only has like very limited use for the meta exploit so i'm sticking currently to this uh, exploit db payloads so and also there is one more resource as well so which is github so github github is like i hope you all guys know so site github.com and i can simply search for smb 3.0.20 okay exploit you cannot find the payloads on git on github in this search exploit you can only find it from the exploit db as well as the meta exploit local database okay so here you can uh, uh, view few couple of uh, python scripts okay let's open any one of them i'm not sure whether this works or not so it's always like hit or trail okay so sometimes some payloads doesn't work so you can see how to configure and stuff as well so sometimes you may uh, you may get some imp uh, errors uh, errors in the packages as well so you need to install like pip3 install or pip2 install whatever it is so and also github is one good place because you can even find some uh, com uh, issues at section as well so where you can see uh, any issues that the user are facing and also they'll provide you the solution as well so you can go and check them out okay so github is also one thing so currently as i told you i'm preparing for oscp i mostly use exploits the first place goes to exploit db and then i go with this uh, github 
so that is how it is like you can interchange it's your choice okay so how you can do it like you can just open them you can just clone into your uh, system and you can just try out those payloads you can see this particular thing may be working fine you can see and also most of the time in this github repositories you can find out proper information on how to use them as well so this is going to be very useful and there are some other websites as well sometimes like uh, for example if i search for smb uh, there are some websites like package Strom, or sometimes you may even find the uh, medium websites or blogs like how you can do them manually so this is this comes to the final part sometimes you can do stuff manually as well so that is one thing you need to run you need to always add this exploit at the end like okay so that it will give you the results which are based on exploits sometimes you can even find some stuff from other websites as well or sometimes uh, when you are doing from ctfs or some sort of exams right there may be boxes which may be similar to them so for example let us assume that i'm doing some other box and i got a lame uh, hack the box room which also has this samba 3.0.20 and you can uh, like th the operating systems may be different but the initial foothold may be same maybe uh, it may be a uh, you know rabbit hole as well but it doesn't make any harm if you go through and check them out okay so that is one good thing and uh, like this you can always go and sometimes if you are really interested you can always do the manual exploit as well so they may sometimes give you guides like not all exploits may have guides like some popular exploit like for example if you take eternal blue so if you simply search for like eternal blue manual exploitation you will get a good article on how you can do that manually you can also do that like and ultimately the goal here is like after the scanning phase like any sort of information that you get you try to find out a relevant exploit so that you can get an initial foothold to the system then the privilege escalation and stuff goes on so that is it guys like i hope you find this video really helpful and if you learn something new do like it and do share it with your friends who are really interested in these sort of stuff this is satvik signing off i'll meet you in the next video thank you